So please excuse my mess. I'm switching offices here, and uh, so I wanted to go ahead and uh, do this video anyways, even though I'm not fully settled in. Um, so normally with the tower crane, normally what we do is we uh, erect it using a mobile crane. But you get them up so tall, and people always ask, well, how do you get them up there? Well, we climb them up there, and in, um, in our area, we go ahead and we do external climbing. There's a bottom climbing system that you'll see in other countries, but uh, in, in most of the United States, you'll see just top climbing or external climbing. And so I got a, some uh, video of how that all happens, and uh, it's not very good in the sense that it would have been nice to have a camera that was off to the side to go ahead and get some of the action. But this is uh, a good option for uh, showing you some of how it works up all close up and how big and massive everything is. Uh, so take a look, see what you think. So we got Libera 550, we're climbing. We got uh, a balance weight out there, it's on the jib. They trolley in and out as they need be to make it nice and plumb in the back. We got a counterweight there and that's what they're trying to counteract. That's the ram that they're pushing the crane up with. All the weight of the crane is right there on that K brace right there. You look at it, it's a sideways K, so we call it K brace. Pushing up the resting dogs, so the crane's weight will hang out on either one of those pieces of structure. Got this external frame. The frame on the outside is added. It's an external climber. Um, it's bolted together with bolts like that. What happens is uh, once they get it nice and plumb, it rolls pretty well on these little rollers and that uh, keeps it nice and plumb. It's uh, roughly a 40 foot climber, maybe 45 feet for these climbers. And uh, that's what keeps the crane uh, connected to the mast below. But above that, it's separated. It's literally the crane is balancing on there. Um, and uh, we got the tower hanging out right there. It's about 14,500 pounds, uh, six meter section. They're gonna physically pull it in by hand and then they'll line it up, put pins in. Sounds like they're about ready to pull it in here. I forget these days they do it uh, with another system. See, they're pulling it in by hand right there. Then once they get it lined up, they're going to lower the climber back down, make up their pins there, uh, and then lower, lower down the turntable into the tower itself and uh, make up their pins. And they'll pull in that balance weight that's out there, put that on the I-beam that was up there the first one was on. And then once that's uh, connected, they can go for a different balance weight because that's their last tower section. And uh, then they'll push up and do it all over again. It takes it takes roughly an hour to do a uh, tower section um, and then uh, so if you do five of them in this case is what we're adding it's 95 feet or 30 meters and that uh, that's what this is a normal jump and you have to tie in the crane to do that let's see if we can see that you can see some of the structure down there that we tie in to the elevator core that stiffens up the crane allows us to go taller so we're in Seattle, it's Columbia Tower, tallest building in Seattle there. Smith Tower, one of our old ones, stadiums down there. Where the ferries come in, going out to West Seattle, looking out that way. Bainbridge Island, or other places out in the sound. Anyways, that's climbing a tower tree.